Let's make a tuna salad sandwich my way. We're gonna start with some lightly toasted bread. So the bread that I used is thin sliced organic power seed Dave's killer bread. Before we actually get into chopping the veggies and whatnot for the sandwich, this is the tuna salad that I made. It's literally delectable. I could eat it out of the, in fact, I will just to show you how amazing it is. <clears throat> We're gonna start with some sliced red onion. Doesn't matter, you know, how much or how little, just as much as you want. Okay, I've got a few. I feel like the cucumber adds the bulk of the crunch to it, like the texture. Good. I keep saying on, put this in. As another little choice, because I love spicy food, so this is completely optional, I'm adding some of these La, pre La Preferida jalapeno. <laughs> Slices hot. I don't know why I try. Mm. Oh my god, makes my mouth like water. I'm gonna do a little bit of this artisan lettuce. I don't know how much exactly I'm gonna need, but we will see. Uh, Engelhofer stone grub mustard, aka my favorite. This is the mustard that I use in the tuna salad mix too. Put some of that in there. It's so good. Holy grail of my kitchen. The pain is good. Habanero hot sauce from Spice and Foods in Kansas City. Okay, so we're gonna pour some of that in there. Okay, we're actually gonna make the sandwich now. My husband's gonna probably walk in behind me at any moment, but um, here is our hot sauce mustard mixture. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put the lettuce on the bread first because it's gonna keep the tuna salad from making it too soggy. For Okay, let's just do it like that. We'll do five per sandwich and then I'll eat some. I'll go ahead and put some onion. Put those on there. Put a big scoop and then press it down to like flatten it. Same thing for the other sandwich. They're crispy fried onions that are dill flavored. Salt and vinegar chips for the texture. Are you kidding me? Cheers. 